This video is sponsored by Unolis.com. Okay, we got a Siemens Temptual shower wall here and it's been leaking and we got a bucket underneath um, that we've been collecting water. Um, so we're going to try to fix it today and um, we're going to need um, a seed kit more likely. It's a TA4 and a spindle, it's a TA10 is what we might need today. So let's uh, let's get started. All right, um, before you do anything, we need to turn off the water. So let's go turn off the water. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open these, this cap here. There's a screw behind it we need to take out. So let's, let's start with taking out the cap. You just need something sharp like a screwdriver or anything that's sharp and small. Um, so let's take that out. And there is a uh, screw in here that we need to take out. Let's take that out. Okay, we might need, yeah, this thing broke up, so we might need a new cap. We gotta get a new cap, but for now this is fine. Let's put it aside. Yeah, this should just come off after you take the screw out. All right, it uh, it had a little bit of gunk buildup in there, but finally it's out. So you just had to nudge it to come out a little bit. But it's, this is chromium, so it's not too hard. So don't put too much force on it, otherwise you just crack this thing. So, all right, this thing is out. Let's get to the next one. Okay, this thing also seized up a little bit, so we need some elbow grease to get this out. Oh man, this thing was hard. It needed a couple of different wrenches to get it out, and that's the thing with the old stuff. It's I needed a big long pipe to get this out, but it's finally it's out. But oh man, this was hard to come out. All right, the spindle is stuck. We're gonna use the wrench to jiggle it and get it out a little bit. And it seems to be coming out, except it looks like a little bit of force is needed. So I'm gonna get it out. All right, spindle is coming out. I just had to uh, use this tool to uh, the vice grip to get it out, but uh, otherwise it's it's out. We took out the uh, spindle, the old spindle, and the reason this thing was leaking was, look at this. It's cracked all inside, and uh, how grungy it is, and even the the um, the outside seat kit just came out along with it, uh, which is okay, sometimes they're on there. But the thing is, the main thing is just the crack, and probably this is like 20 years old, so to be expected that they need to be changed. All right, we got the outer seat kit out along with the spindle. So let's take the inner kit out, inner seat kit. Um, you need this, um, it's a, it's called multi-tool plumber's four-way wrench and it's mainly for the older version of Simmons Temptrol shower wall. It also works for the other ones, but uh, this is for the older ones. And you can get it for Home Depot from 22 bucks. That's where I got it from. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add the, uh, the item uh, in the video. I'm gonna show it where you can buy it if you need it. All right, that thing is kinda hard to get it out, but we'll try it anyway with this tool. So let's see, it keeps slipping. Wow, look at that. Uh, it gives so much grief, but it's out. Let's put the uh, inner seat kit in. Uh, before we do that, let's put some uh, grease. This is a uh, silicone grease uh, bought it from Home Depot. Uh, it's a plumber's grease, so let's put some on there. Our inner seat is in. We can put the uh, the outer seat. There we 
can put it right here and put it in. But before we put it in, let's put some grease. Right, we put the grease on there just so that the grease spreads in there. So I took it out and put it back in again. All right, that looks like that's in. And you hear that? In the old spindle, you don't hear any sound. It should be hearing sound like that. Like, see that? You hear that sound. If you're not hearing it, that means this is not really working well. You see that? It's broken. So that's why it's been leaking. And, uh, so that's why we're changing it. You hear that? This is good. Yeah, putting more silicone grease on these threads here so that we can easily push this in. Also gonna, we're also going to change this um, washer here. It it's, looks okay, but we got a new one with this kit. So we're just going to use that one. Okay, new one's in. So this was not easy to get it out. So that's why I'm putting plenty of grease here plenty of grease on all the threads here All right, let's put the uh, nut back in. That's strange, not going on there. Uh, all right. It looks like uh, this nut is not gonna fit with this new spindle. This old nut is a little different. So we're gonna have to go get a new nut. Um, I think it's called a cap actually. So we're gonna get one of these from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. All right, see you guys a little bit later. All right, we went and picked up uh, one from Lowe's. Um, it comes with its own washer. This is a new nut. The design is a little different compared to the uh, old one. The old one is, uh, it's hard to use actually, it's hard to take out. It's pretty strong, but it's kind of hard to take out. The new design is better. It's easy to take out and um, yeah, we, we just dry fit it in and it seems to work well. All right, put some um, the uh, silicone grease on here, on the thread and put the washer that it came with and just let's start putting it in. Yep, it's going in easy compared to the other one. Yeah, it's actually going in easy. One thing we got to do. Yep, it's moving. So we got to check that part. That's the thing. Good. Yeah, we need to make sure we don't want to over tighten this thing because we need to make sure the uh, we can actually rotate the valve. So the spindle has to be rotatable so you don't want to make it too tight 
All right, so we gotta keep putting it in while tightening this thing. We gotta check in between that we're doing it right. All right, let's make sure of that. All right, it looks like uh, we tightened it enough. It's pretty tight, and uh, and we can still rotate the uh, rotate the shower handle. So, which is good. And yeah, maybe we're gonna loosen it a little bit. All right, we're gonna put the the, um, the trim back on. So um, this is tight enough already. So let's let's put the trim back in. Forgot, I gotta put a uh, small piece that it's supposed to have. Yeah, this thing is um, usually inside here. You gotta put that back on. All right, the trim is almost in. So we're gonna be putting the, uh, uh, the handle on the top but we gotta tighten this in out a little bit. This is the diverter. So, actually, this is just the handle, but the actual diverter is inside. Just want to check if it's still movable, everything. Okay, that's off. This is. Hot. Oh, that looks good. So we're just gonna tighten this this nut a little bit more. So just wanna make sure that's not leaking. Now, when you're putting the knob back in, just make sure this this thing is pointing towards the off. That's what it should be because when I mean, it's turned off. So make sure you put that in, and let's put the last screw in. So if everything went well, this shouldn't be leaking anymore because we changed the uh, the inner seat, we changed the seat kit, the inner and outer, and we also changed the spindle, uh, we changed the um, the cap, the top part, because it's an old house, whatever not that was there, that wasn't that good. So we replaced that because we couldn't put it back. That's fine. And this, these things happen, you got to be ready for it. So we're just going to put a trim cap. That's it. We're good to go. Let's go turn on the water. All right. We turned off the water uh, when we started it because we wanted to make sure that the water doesn't come out while we're repairing it. So let's start. Let's uh, turn the water on and go test what we did. All right. Let's turn the water on. Let's see how it goes. So we want to make sure the tub is still working. Okay, the tub is still working, the water is pouring out. So let's uh, switch it to shower. Before we do that, I don't want ourselves getting drenched. So let's put a, all right, shower also works. So let's put it back. Okay. Good, we didn't break anything and I believe it's not leaking that much anymore. So that's good.